David, nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you as well. Please tell me how many bottles a year produces Luis Jadot? So we make uh, uh, roughly uh, 9 million bottles every year. Okay. But uh, the uh, uh, 60% is uh, Beaujolais Village and Macon Village. Okay. The rest is a small cuvee divided amongst uh, 150 different uh, wines that we produce, 150 different labels, each of them corresponding to uh, one clima, which is a parcel uh, in Burgundy. Okay, thank you. Um, well, first of all, Chardonnay is one of the most popular grapes around the planet. Um, also, um, I think the, uh, uh, the name helps Chablis is a name that everybody can pronounce when sometimes it's in Burgundy you know some of the names are so difficult to pronounce that people are scared of ordering from a restaurant if they can't um, uh, order the wine um, but Chablis historically has always been very very popular uh, because of its proximity to Paris so as a result, we have Chablis wine in all of the Parisian restaurants. Because Paris is such a tourist destination, travelers from all over the world see Chablis on wine list. So when they go back home, they like to have access to, uh, to Chablis. And from a, a flavor profile, the wines are very distinct. They have this uh, very crisp acidity, minerality, which comes from the unique soil uh, of Chablis, which are the oldest soil millions of years ago. In this particular area, you had an ocean covering Chablis, and as the ocean went away, it left uh, fossils of uh, shellfish in the soil, which is why in the Chablis wine, you have a lot of minerality and salinity taste, which is very pleasant for anyone uh, drinking wine. Super. Yeah. David, s'il vous plaît. Oui. Uh, t -t -t Tell me a little bit about Coteau Bourguignon. So Coteau Bourguignon. What, what, what means Coteau Bourguignon? So it means the hills of Burgundy. And it's a blend of uh, Chardonnay, 70%, and then 30% Aligoté. It's a perfect wine for aperitif because it showcases a lot of minerality. Uh, it okay. tickles your palate, which is perfect, especially before uh, uh, having a, a, a meal. So a delicious aperitif wine. And with the rouge, is the is the same. You can mix some some grapes. Yes, you can, we use for the red um, Pinot Noir, roughly seventy percent, and then um, uh, also a little bit of uh, Gamay, thirty percent. Uh, but okay. for both of these wines, no oak. So we have a wine that is very fresh, very crisp. Okay, thank you. Program, because at some point um, the vines of Pinot Noir and Chardonnay don't produce a lot when they're old. You know, it's like a, a human. As you get old, you're a little weaker. Uh, so uh, we have a replanting program. But generally speaking, uh, the average are about 35, 40 years old. And, uh, um, uh, when the vines are too old, we will pull and uh, let the vineyard rest and then plant again. Mm. Ah, it's still operated like a family-owned winery okay. uh, today. So, uh, but it belongs to the Cup uh, family because uh, Mr. Jadot, when he passed away, he had no descendants. So Madame Jadot offered to uh, the Cup family who own our importer in America to acquire uh, Louis Jadot. Mm -hmm. So uh, they uh, uh, took over Louis Jadot, but Louis Jadot today is uh, run independently. We have a very nice relationship with them. They come once a year, we have a good meal, and we have all freedom uh, to do uh, what we like to do. It's <laughs> on quality. Okay. And this is so important for us that we own our um, uh, barrel company. So Las Baricas uh, are from our own company. Uh, it's okay. called Cadus, and they make uh, barrels for wineries from all over the world, but they also make barrels for Jadot. And because it's our own company, we have the 100% uh, control on the type of uh, oak we want to have, toast, 
and for us it's very important because at the end it's a uh, um, it's a uh, uh, an, an ingredient part of the wine but it has to be uh, very gentle yeah so, uh, because we want to uh, taste the fruit and not the oak obviously certainly certainly thank you mm -hmm. Olha aqui um delicioso Mulanvã, Chateau de Jacques, que eu não sabia, é do Luiz Jador. Ó, 2013, para você que acha que Beaujolais não evolui, informe-se, isso é um cru de Beaujolais. We have uh, Clos Vougeot, 2015, which is a, uh, an extraordinary uh, vintage in, in Burgundy. Uh, this Clos Vougeot comes from our own vineyard. We own 2.5 hectares of vineyard in Clos And this is really not only for Jadot, but for Burgundy in general, one of the most famous Grand Cru in Burgundy. It's also the largest one. It's one uh, single vineyard, 50 hectares in total, more than 80 producers. And inside the Clos you have the famous uh, a monastery of Clos which is home to the confrérie of the Chevalier du Terstevin. So it's a very famous uh, uh, landmark in, uh, in Burgundy. Um, I just tasted the wine. The texture is magnificent. The color is uh, turning uh, almost uh, a brick wall. And this is a wine, even though it's 2015, it still have a long life uh, uh, ahead for sure. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> sure. Olha, aqui gelatina de grapa, um pouco mais de grapa. Fique à vontade, viu? Ó! Oh. <risos>